Welcome back. I'm MTG Joe. Today we're here with War of the Spark Standard and we are playing Sahili Drakes. So this is a blue red Drakes or is it Drakes shell? Uh, we have our favorite Drizzy Drakes and Enigma Drake and Crackling Drake. Um, and then we have a new addition, Sahili Sublime Artis Artisifer. Um, so basically we're playing her as a young pyromancer-esque so that's an older card for those new to the game but basically whenever we cast a non-creature spell we get to create a 1-1 colorless servo artifact creature and then her minus ability is basically we could transform those artifacts into copies of our drakes the rest of the deck is basically geared around drawing cards we have discovery we have charter course we have opt and then we have some removal options in the terms of shock and lightning strike so i'm opting to go with lightning strike over lava coil in this variation um, because lightning strike can go after planeswalkers it could go after the opponent's face um, and with sahili it could always have a target um, and then what we're trying out is uh, so todd anderson on star city was playing thud in his list um, so this was something that was interesting i wanted to give it a shot um, basically you have a really big drake you throw it at them with thud so almost like a combo finish and then the rest of the deck is basically just some counters. We have dive down to protect our creatures for tempo play, spell pierce, and negate to try to catch opponents' planeswalkers. Um, mana base is 22 lands. Uh, just a mix between the two. Sideboard, uh, blink of an eye to bounce opponents' threats that have resolved, planeswalkers, whatever it may be. Uh, Narset's reversal is going to be more uh, for the kind of the combo matchups we can copy like uh, a big explosion or anything like that negate for the control mirrors lava coil for creature decks kashmina is one that i really liked and limited so far so i wanted to try her out basically we're playing her for static ability mainly uh to tax our opponent for targeted removal so stuff against like esper we can t make mortify cost five mana um, basically just kind of tax the opponent out and give us a, maybe a turn or two more. We're playing Old Ral. Um, like him as more of a standalone. We're not like dedicated solely spell based. Um, so the new Ral is more of a combo y one that's a little bit more build around. Then we have a couple Nivs and an Entrancing Melody. Uh, the main board itself is only eight rares, which is the lands. Everything else is common or uncommon in the deck, which is a really, really budget friendly version. Um, so we'll take it through a couple matches. Uh, we were playing another version offline, um, tried to get away with 20 lands and play Immortal Sun. It did not work out well. Constantly uh, struggling for land drops. So we'll get started. Uh, so as we wait for our opponent, if you haven't done so already, if you enjoy the content on the channel, want to show your support, make sure to hit that subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner. It's a free and easy way to show your support and it goes a long way to helping out the channel. Now let's get started. Play first. We need lands to cast spells, so this ends much better. We've been playing 22 lands, and the amount of non-lands hands I've drawn in the first couple of games has been absurd. Uh, I want lands. We don't know what our opponent's on right now. Don't really have a threat. So, we'll dispersal next turn, set up our draws, opponent ops, could be mono blue, okay, so yeah, now we definitely want to find the land and have a card draw spell afterwards. I like that. Could have dug one deeper, hoping to find. Okay, so opponents on Drakes as well. So Sahili should be okay. Resolved.
opponent op, so it's good there. They didn't have a Drake. They could have started threatening. This gives us a couple of turns to set up. Okay, so here we'll spell here or charter course. Get rid of the dive down, most likely. So I want to hit a land here. That's perfect. This allows us to spell pierce if they try to drop like a RAL or something. This might actually be the combo version of RAL, not Drake's. So spell pierce would be quite relevant. Yeah, so this is the combo version, so we'll just spell Pierce Rao here. So here what's cool is we can start using Sahili's ability. So, target this, target that. Do I have your attention now? And then attack our opponent in. Okay, so opponents on the Ral combo. Um, so they can go infinite that way. So we're just going to bring in kind of our disruption that in that sense. So Thud's probably going to be too slow. Beacon Bolt we can probably get rid of. They'll play Niv most likely, but we can probably get around that. Chart of course. Uh, I want more disruption. Gotta cut two cards. Because I'll probably bring in Lava Coils versus us. Because we need to be able to deal with if it resolves. Go down a Lightning Strike maybe. And one Charter Course. Let's try running it back like that. Still got to figure out sideboarding with this deck. So for those of you who don't know what the RAL combo is, um, RAL will ping your opponent for every instant or sorcery you play. And then with Expansion Explosion, you can basically... So we would have kept this hand if it was an island, but I don't think we keep this hand. Okay, we'll keep this. Um, so basically... You can create an infinite loop. So you cast the spell, say like opt. With opt on the stack, you copy it with expansion. And then with that trigger on the stack, you copy the original expansion with an expansion. And then that creates an infinite loop in which you can uh, burn your opponent out. Sounds a lot slower. We don't have disruption. So hopefully opt digs us into that. Discovery here. Uh, want something better. Ooh, Sahili there is nice. So I'll pass turn. Hopefully opponent taps out here. So they can have the spell pierce, so we'll get hit with the spell pierce, which would hurt. But I think with us without us having a 
like interaction. I think we just need to need to go for it. Spell pierce, do you have it? Does it resolve? Awesome. So, opponent might have an opt in hand. Oh, we'll just go to the face. Is destruction your only art? Mind you, if they're spending turns, oh, they have their own healing. So we can kill it. Probably gonna opt to do that. Stop. Backup Sahili is also nice. Uh, if they're gonna beat us, they're just gonna beat us. So we opted to not go the steam vents there because I want to fake like we have something. Uh, spell pierce or anything like that. So they have Drake. We'll drop our Drake now. Having the backup Sahili is also good. I'm sorry, but I must tend to my creation. Two, three, so we're actually short a spell here. So knowing that the opponent brought those in, we want to bring the lava coils in. Pass the turn here. We do expose Sahili here, so we will have to block with Crackling Drake. Uh, second Drake's bad. I think we're dead anyways in this one. So if they go after Sahili... Oh, interesting. Probably should have hung on to the land just for charter course if we draw it. Nip Mizzet in the mirror basically reads your opponent wins the game. Alright, so we need these lava coils in and we need the lightning strikes. I'm gonna opt to get rid of the reactive stuff. I think I think we just go full combo. Actually, let's play Beacon Bolt. Raul also can get rid of something. Cut down a nib for Raul. We want to be able to answer the board. Hand. So let's go dig in here. Want to find like a Sahili ideally and a land. Um, okay with binning this. Come on. And then just drawing the, the land. Mm -hmm. 
So opponent also is discovering. So we'll go digging again here. Um, actually, could probably get rid of lava coil for now. I want to try to draw some more lands. So they have the Sahili. I think we do just opt to kill it. How many? Let's just play out Drake this turn. They'll get a little value, but we can just try to attack in next turn. We can remove whatever they play. Lava coil here. So that was probably the worst case scenario. We'll just shock the Sahili. So we got greedy there. I think it's right to probably just get rid of Sahili. Should have done that last turn. Would have liked a land. Just hold these. These can deal with the Drake if they resolve one. Okay, so they have Ral. Today's forecast is cloudy with a high chance of me winning. It's not terrible because we have two oh, answers kill. if they try to go for the combo. Okay, so Sahili. It's we'll not the worst. Lost this one. Well, that was unpleasant. Opponents probably got it. Everyone complains to me about the weather. So, beacon bolts. One, two, three, yeah, we got plenty. So we need to decide here. I think we just beacon bolt, like, or let's try to disperse. So I think we need to hit the land. They'll probably go after one of the two. After Sahili. Let's go like that. So 
as I'll get one more. Opponent's deciding. Lantern. Sahili, so they're pretty far ahead here. <laughs> Feel the fury of the tempest. Your demise. They take out Sahili, so we have a chance if we get land Niv to maybe recover. Take out Ral. Ow. Good aim. You know what? Talk to my lab assistant if you want to do that. I think we're going to cut the thuds. They don't do enough. Bring in a RAL and just like another chart or something like that. Just more card draw. Dre copy. So they're going slightly bigger as well with the insight. This is actually a good first match to play. Of note, this can get around. Like Enigma Drake can attack through Niv now. They hit us for 10. Okay, so we get the land there. We can block one of them. So if they copy, we'll block the original. Double, then we're dead, anyways. You got the lightning strike. Yeah. So we'll concede. So let's make a couple changes. So get rid of the thuds. They're not that consistent. Go up another chart, of course. And let's play the RAL. Try out one of those. Dive down, spell pierce is probably still relevant. Sideboard wise, don't like the retrieval there. Need a way to. So we have the lava coils. I think maybe just for the longer game, we can bring in an insight. Might be the best use. Let's try that out. 
Like a lot of this is just going to be us playing around, seeing what works best. Like there are the options where they play a one of uh, Blood Crypt for the Black Source for Dispersal half of Discovery. It comes up so fringe that just taking the two damage usually isn't worth it. Alright, well, kill a creature, Drake, Drake. Lead on Mountain, incentivize them to maybe not drop a one drop. Okay, that might be Esper. So, I'm gonna let them do that. I don't want to opt yet. Because if we can opt into Sahili. Don't want more lands. Okay, let's just get aggressive. Dispersal could put a few cards into the grave. Deck probably plays Liliana. Okay, so here. Don't want the land. I'll take the charter course to dig deeper. Perfect. I will take a Sahili. Sahili. If they drop a walker. So this looks like blue black control. Played the other one they've seen. And they're playing creature counters. Yeah. So against control, this is the part of the game where we're probably dead. curve to answer. I think that hand's not very good against non-creature decks. Most likely have a removal. Does make our Drakes weaker. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So they can mill four more cards if they want. Reborn, sack that. What did the opponent hit? Uh, nothing too crazy. This 
So we're just gonna shock them. Gets us a token, plays around another Elvis Reborn. Rouse, not the worst here. So they're gonna get Ashiok back, so we'll keep the land on top there. This will incentivize them to think to mill. So they flip a Scanta, likely bring back Ashiok since they got rid of our graveyard. Bunch of lands is fine. Your nightmares remain. Oh, that sucks. See, that's silly. Then they should have done it to to mill us. Take out Ashiok here. Twenty-three cards. Your lack of fear disturbs me. They'll take our beacon bolts. They haven't really shown creatures. They do get to exile it. Sure showed me. My victory was but a dream. Another lion's kind of awkward. We're going to hold the land here. Doesn't serve us much utility, might force them to use a discard card. Jeez, nothing but lions. We'll just end the turn. Another Ashiok, sorry about that. Welcome. Your fight. This has been a nightmare. Ritual's actually really good there too. While they're tapped out. We'll just hit Ashiok, they only get one more mill. So here, based on the number of cards, we're not going to surveil anything. We'll just opt on our opponent's turn, or actually we might still do it. Opponent, I think, has got us though. I 
They have another board wipe or an Ashiok, they kill us. Just trying to find a Drake. Living dangerously. Try to find that Drake. Drake, Drake, Drake. Keep the shock. So we're really just trying here. We got five, six power. Insight's fine. Of pumps at thirty two cards, we're at two. We have a Drake doesn't do it, so p opponent's got it. All right, so here we want some negates, we want. Some, do we want blink of an eyes? Probably not. Ral, Niv, Enigma. Keeping the shocks, keeping the lightning strikes because it deals with the big boys. Ral doesn't do enough in this matchup, I don't think. Niv also. Might be too slow. I think we need to be more aggressive. The negates are good. Actually, probably gonna just cut the charter courses here. We'll play first. Uh, keep this. Need some red stars. Um, I think I'm okay with. Nah. Need the lands. And now we're punished. Del takes a Healy, our hand does nothing. We have another C Healy in the bin. Our deck kind of plays into our opponent's game plan here. Which is unfortunate. Like we're self milling. Nightmares are the I leave you. We live to fight another day. I lost my appetite. So that was in a bad draw. We are the future. Let's discard. Spell Pierce. Did 
Discard. Dispersal. Get rid of the lands. Get rid of Ashiok. I End the turn. It's fine. They'll get rid of the insight. They get to bounce campaign back. Uh, they opted to not get rid of the insight. That's interesting. This they might have a negate. But a dream. Well, that seems odd. Okay, so the counter there is good. Drake on top. Just play this tap to end the turn. So they're likely gonna disinformation campaign. Let's negate this. Attack in first, then place a Healy. Now we can Lightning Strike. The opponent. And then just have five power on board. They're down to nine, that's a two turn clock. Sure. What do you name? Seems kind of aggressive against our deck. We're not really a combo. Crackling Drake. Sure. I think you already got rid of some. Very, very aggressive in my opinion. Now we do this. So if it resolved, we were going to copy it. But we have lethal on our opponent. Then ritual. Let's play out another crackling drake. So we have the shock, but I want him to try to like tap out or something else. We're gonna incite first to try to get them uh, them to counter it. Um, let's just do this all while on the stack. Got him. So that was a slower hand by the opponent, but we were able to punish them. 
I think we're okay to run this back. So better showing of the deck this time. Opponent's making some changes. Unmored Ego is generally something you don't want to bring in. in like, unless like it's like a combo deck where you're removing a specific threat. But if I had him in hand, you just let me draw cards. You thin out my deck. And in this matchup, like it coming down on that turn, like I guess it still gets big with everything in exile. So they could control the drakes, but they can't control. I don't understand these hands. Okay, we'll keep this. Do we want the land? Yeah, I probably want the land. Last turn. They've probably played Thief of Sanity. Unless they're just keeping in the r rituals. They always have the turn two thought erasure. Get rid of Enigma Drake. Off for the crackling Drake. I think is either like us getting Sahili out or uh, the other one is probably our best bet to winning. So they may drop Ashiok here. May not. Nix is cruelty. Opponent's definitely going deep. Is that a threat? I just don't want him to get the surveil. They're gonna take the negate anyways, at least this turns him off. Here, we'll just pass the turn. We don't have anything over four mana. We'll double shock the Ashiok. Sweet deck though from our opponent. So spell pierce doesn't do a whole lot. If they try to drop like a second Ashiok. Just pass the turn. Just let some insight, helps them find their fifth land. And they discard the ritual. So they likely have creature counters. We had a few turns where we could have snuck a Planeswalker down. At this point, they pretty much got it. So we'll see how it goes the next couple turns and then just concede. Nice and scatter. They're getting to the point, they hit one more land, even the spell pierce is inefficient. Let's see if they screw up. Yeah, opponent's got it. 
So that's the Healy Drakes. That matchup's actually probably one of the worst. Just straight removal, counters, and exile of our graveyard. Just makes it very difficult for us to be able to compete. We are also steal one, but uh, still a little too much. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy. And if you haven't done so already, please make sure to subscribe.